Hello friends, this is part 35 of Angular 14 series and in this session we will discuss about that you know event emitter and subject. So these two topics basically all about the component communications and uh, most of the time we you know getting confused should I use the subject or should I use the event emitter whenever I you know try to you know broadcast the message. Okay, so now <coughs> most of the cases already uh, I believe you are aware of this event emitter you know we basically use for you know broadcast data from child uh, to parent you know component and if there is relationship right so also uh, we'll discuss about you know is it possible to use event emitter in place of subject wherever we are you know using the subject uh, class uh, can we able to use the event emitter as well let's see okay so let's get into the code okay before you know explain that code so i have created here a little bit you know two example i have considered two example so here i have created one you know component that is called dgc filter that is called you know data grid component filter and uh, here in this filter what i have done so far uh, i have you know just uh, took uh, one you know input filter you know properties and inside this uh, input filter i have added in you know, a search you know string one property and uh, here in you know, a grid context i have another you know service where i have used that you know filter observable uh, you can say i mean here it is uh, indicating that event emitter i mean dollar symbol indicating it's an event okay and here i have used uh, you know as event emitter uh, instead that subject okay and here to getter and setter properties so now here what i am doing if i go to the inside html here and uh, whenever user you know uh, put some text inside this you know search box and click on that you know search button basically we are you know i am actually submitting the form and inside this form i have added you know registered this method and this method basically uh, you know just setting that in input filter object inside this in you know filter you know setter here we are you know just passing value and here we are broadcasting okay with this help of this private variable and uh, if i go to that data grid i mean where, where i'm being it is being used here inside this data grid client component here inside that you know constructor maybe let's use this uh, constructor uh, i am you know listening that event which is broadcasted from the dgc filter component so here that filter you know, dollar event and i am subscribing that and that you know filter you know input object is coming here and here i am assigning uh, that input filter inside this input filter object and basically it is enough you know, that method uh, we are calling you know we are calling the backend and uh, we are passing that input in you know, a text search string and basically it is fetching that data okay let's run this application okay now go to that you know table part here this client you know example i'm considered i've considered here let's you know try to you know search some string and click here see basically it is searching okay so let me put debugger over here and i will show you how it is working here and uh, here let me open that data grid service and basically if i put debugger here and uh, let's you know put open that dgc component ts file as well so basically whenever i'm clicking here in uh, on the search icon so if i uh, continue here i can see this input object is coming actually we are assigning here in this filter and a setter if i go inside that that value is coming and basically here uh, broadcasting so if you use that event emitter you know interface or you can say class so here basically that class is having one method called next and that next method actually help us to broadcast you know information to other component 
so now let's continue it and if i go to that uh, other file here i can see here okay let me do it continue yes i can see you know that debugger is catching here over here in this you know data grid i mean parent component here whoever actually going to you know use you know list uh, going to subscribe that you know observable or you can say event and that event will be listening there only okay at that point so yeah in this way also we can achieve and let me try to use that what is called let me open that yes here instead of event emitter i can use subject as well okay let me put it over here and remove this because subject basically don't expect any initial value so that is what i'm not passing anything now let's you know, quickly check it now whether it is working or not let me search this string and see here debugger is there now see that that is happening you know same similar fashion i can get the information inside this subscription here inside this and it will work as it is now question is then why you know angular team designed these two different class basically let me show you uh, let me revert back and then go to that event emitter you know interface here as you can see this is interface and it is you know expecting a type with what kind of you know what data type actually uh, i mean you are going to broadcast so that uh, type we can pass and here you can see uh, in the new keyword already uh, i mean also used here i mean i can create the instance for this interface as well and this interface actually extending the subject as well so i can go with either subject or event emitter class for this purpose okay but keep in mind if you want to share data from child to parent in that scenario we should use the event emitter only okay so the way they have designed so you know, preliminary maybe they thought you know event emitter will be sufficient again they have designed the subject also so and uh, that event emitter already extending that subject features so that is why you know we can you know, go with event emitter or subject uh, as you wish so both of them will work in up to you know angular 14 version maybe they will get rid of something or in future version i don't know okay so this one i uh, think we can use and uh, another example i will show you i mean th this thing you can as as you can see this filter component and this you know data grid client component is having the parent child relationship we can use that event emitter as well okay but th that that is one thing and this is also one thing okay we can you know go with this event emitter or you can say subject as well another example i will show you uh, you know go to this you know my account here if there is two different component and no relationship uh, i mean no relationship between them as you can see the header one is the layout component and this profile is the module i mean profile module is having this profile component and that profile component actually uh, you know creating the ins with the help of a routing okay so as we are you know loading that profile module uh, using that lazy uh, routing so here um, hence there is no relationship between the components so but here if i you know pick one picture maybe i can put this picture here and it is immediately reflecting there okay why uh, it is happening or how i have achieved that so let me open that you know profile component ts file here on file change i am registering this one and basically what i'm doing so whatever file i picked up so that file i'm converting to the base 64 string and then i'm passing this user context is having that user setter 
this user setter and which is basically you know expecting that user uh, i auth user type user input and here i am setting that okay i am not broadcasting anything here so <coughs> basically i am you know just updating the profile picture properties value and same service i have used here app component html that master page layout that auth context dot user dot profile picture okay so as i am using that getter setter you know method in the same service and this service basically sorry okay let me go inside that service again yeah this service basically uh, a singleton service so whenever you know application got loaded the, during that time only this service instance got created and uh, that is why i have provided this root and this service if you provide this root i mean provide this provided in root with value root then this service will have singleton instance no need to register anywhere in the uh, i mean any module so if any singleton service if you have then with the help of get getter and setter you can use i mean you can broadcast the you know data so as you know javascript in javascript everything is a uh, mutable so whenever you set any value inside this object so this object basically uh, you know i uh, i mean i am returning from this getter and same uh, you know property getter property i have been used inside this auth context right so whenever any change happens in that you know setter so getter automatically you know will be muted so you know reflection will be coming in this property okay so that is one, another way to communicate between the components without raising any event okay so now question an you know, interviewer may ask you how do you communicate between components if there is no relationship okay so you can you know tell a two way another uh, one is if there is one singleton service and if that service is consumed by two components okay and we can use the getter and setter without any event or you can say we can also you know do the same thing with the help of you know event emitter or you can say subject and also there is if there is a relationship between the components then you can say okay we can do that uh, with the help of at the rate input and at the rate output decorator right i guess everybody you know have you know, now clear information from this session and still if you have any other doubts or anything need to clarify please put your you know valuable comments in the comment box so that i can help you quickly so uh, thanks for your concentration and have a great day